Hello my friends, I totally forgot to uh, videotape the removal of the last wheel. There it is. So uh, it will go on to the new tire which sit there uh, tomorrow. So uh, I'll bring you back when we put that tire on the rim and then on the tractor. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I'm so far. So look out for, for the formal with the new look. Eventually, I came to this point and I take leave to do this. And it will have that look on both sides. Sorry for the shaking, but I'm tired now. Okay guys, I've got all the colors of the rainbow here. Just what I need to finish my plow. So let's continue. Okay guys, <clears throat> now my plan is from a distance, very far, give a right a red shade to the frame and I'm going to leave the the furrows as is because it have a very nice um, the, it look like uh, mold on the plow Pharaoh's there, so let's turn it around and do the other side. I think that looks very nice, but we will modify it a little bit. Okay, this is now the other side. Okay, something like that. Okay, now on that back side, I just want to give it a little bit of black there for oiliness and here and there. Okay. Okay, guys, now for the wheels that uh, will have a shade of yellow. Just take it lightly. It's actually too much, but I will modify it when it is dry and in the workshop. I don't think you will see much now at the moment. Okay, let me finish up this quickly. Okay, guys, let's take all the paper off and see how it looks before I start to do the fine tuning. Let's see how it look at this point <clears throat> okay there is a let me just quickly get that off guys Okay, there is a quick view before I start to uh, do fine tuning, but you can see this furrows have, uh, it must be silver, but it have a <clears throat> little bit of silver left and a little bit of rusty areas and that green, there's a lot of green here that looks like uh, mold. So I think I'm going to leave that as is. So uh, let me start with 
uh, fine tuning and uh, we'll finish it up. Okay, the fine tuning will be something like this. I've got here a soft piece of paper with uh, some lacquer, uh, lacquer thinner, thinners and just smear it here and there. Especially on the places that is high points. Just to take the, make it uneven. And that's now my process. I try to duplicate what, duplicate what Squatch is doing. But this is so small. See that effect. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Just break the unevenness, and there is a little bit of black in the middle of oil. Okay, and here a little bit more. Okay, let's put it on a on a background of white paper and then we'll look how it looks. Okay guys, I think uh, my plow is field ready. <coughs> Just check it out. The flash le uh, let some areas shine up a little bit, but that is now the flash, so that we can see better. Okay, let's turn it around. Okay. Okay guys, I think uh, I finished with this project and I hope you like it. I think it looked not too bad. And look out uh, for tomorrow guys. We're gonna put that great tire on, a, on this rim. So that this side looks like this side.
What is interesting is uh, on this side there's no extra weight because the most weights sit on this side of the tractor and uh, on that side they put the weight on for to counteract the fact that the, the tractor is on the left side much more heavier. Okay my friends, see you on the next one and uh, that will be tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.